And welcome back folks, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Super Metroid. Last time we got rid of the boss in uh, the wrecked ship, which meant that we uh, powered this place back up and can now begin to explore it in earnest. Also, already found uh, 10 more super missiles, which is phenomenally good, considering we only had like I don't know, uh, 15 max super missiles before we headed here. Okay. Get rid of all of these guys. Yes, I am playing superbly right now. Yeah, this is, if you aren't uh, savant at this game, this is basically the way that you find nine-tenths of the secrets. If you are trying to find secrets, if you are just blasting through the game, then of course you can just uh, make do with whatever you happen to come across, but this, at least I found this to be the only way to actually uh, reliably find anything. Because the secrets, so, some of them are really freaking well hidden. I mean, it's that it's impossible to find. <laughs> now I'm not sure if this is actually going to work, but I think that. Uh, oh, god, darn it! Um, let's check. So I believe that the uh, doors that are are grayed out and you have to destroy every enemy in the room. If you done done that once and open the door, yeah this one isn't open. Then they uh kind of stay blue after that so you only need to destroy all the enemies once. Let's actually put that theory to the test, shall we? Just so that you can maybe learn something while watching me play, other than how to fumble and bungle. Okay. Got through here, and let's just go back, and if this is blue again... Yes! So that should work. Let's check if there are some passageways in here. No, none. Okay, fine. I can deal. You fall down, and let's make you fall down as well. Goodbye, and next you. All this for one missile tank. No missile tanks. To what lengths do I go to gather more of you? Okay. Nothing else in this end. I'm going to check some of the places along the way. Just in case there's something in the roof or floor. Some additional bonus secrets. It may just be that I'm uh, misremembering things and there aren't all that many hidden passageways in the walls in this place. Well, it's a possibility and it's not even all that remote possibility. It's actually quite likely that I'm misremembering things and oh my god the slowdown is huge. I have no idea what's causing it either. Weird, weird slowdown. I hope it's not uh, the recently updated recording software I'm using. Ah, okay. Right. This takes us here. Which is a good thing. I, uh, I wanted to get... Uh, up there 
And that's the way we are going to be exiting the wrecked ship, I think. Because uh, that's the way we can uh, do that jump I was trying to do a lot earlier in that screen where our uh, own ship is. Let's go. go and check some of this stuff out still. There's yeah. There's this place that we skipped in the last episode. Alright. I think for a good reason. Yeah. I'm almost certain that that is a possible jump that's possible to make if you're really, really good at the game. I, however, am not. So that's another place that we can need to come back to once we can uh, move uh, more easily in water. So. I guess we'll uh, go this way a bit earlier than I thought we would. Are those green lights that's causing the slowdown or just a bit too many enemies and too much of my ice beam and screen at one time? It's really, really, really weird. I may need to make some uh, test recordings of stuff a bit later on. Just to find out if... Uh, hmm. Where are you going? This may be a poor idea of me to... Go on this merry on my way, merry way with this. Then again, possibly not. Dare I? I am actually going to do a save state because I don't want to have to go through all of that. Okay, yeah, there was a platform down here. Oh, so. Ah, yes. Okay, let's uh, check out the one with we can access with the sh super missile first. Ah. Pop going around. Thank you, thank you very much. And so we have this. Okay. A missile tank. Way. Hundred and ten. It's no small amount. Okay, and uh, yeah, that would make us fall all the way down. So I think I'm going to uh, try to bomb jump my way. Explore a bit more down here, just in case there are some hidden bonus goodies around here. And what do you know? Actually, here's a way, way to go. So, this is again a place with really, really 
irritating jumping mechanics because we have no uh, way of moving easily in water. Uh -huh. Okay, the door closed behind us. I don't know if I'm liking this or not. Ah! Ah! Okay. I know exactly what's going to happen here. So, a dead end. With a statue. Now, remember what those uh, item uh, clumps that are uh, held by these statues look like? Kinda like a muffin ball, right? Yep. We activate the statue and lo and behold, it starts moving and getting rid of those nasty spikes. Camera pans out and yay for a secret passage. Click. We have arrived. Now oh, there's a passage uh, down beneath us as well. I'm going to check this room out first. Because... Gravity suit. Ha ha! This is what we need to move in water. Now we are a uh, cool pinkish uh, purplish color and uh, yeah, basically this makes uh, this suit makes wa moving in water uh, pretty much exactly the same as moving uh, outside of it, and also it allows us to take a heck of a lot more damage. I think it gives a damage reduction of like uh, seventy-five percent or something, whereas uh, the other suit gives you. 50. So it halves the already half damage that we, t uh, we take, which is most excellent. So that makes us a bit more tanky. Okay. And, uh, this is a destructible statue with something behind it. Do a bit of a run here. Huh. Okay, so that's a place we should uh, speed boost from here. This goes the wrong way. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Let's try something. Oh. Actually, we did get a speed boost there. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to have to make a speed boost through the wall there or something. But nope. That got us through here. Where is here? I have no idea. Ah, reserve tank. That's a good, good thing. Uh, we need to make a jump to get to it, though. Which is a good thing to know. Otherwise, I may have just fallen down the pit and had to do another jump, which is irritating at most. But still. Okay. Well, that was brilliant. And we've come up the 15 minute mark as well. So, 
that was a really good episode. We found one of the most important items in the game, the gravity suit, and uh, yeah, we got some missiles and uh, a, a reserve tank. Yeah, that's what we got there in the end. So, next time we continue with the exploration and item hunting on the wrecked ship, and also hopefully in the adjoining areas as well. So, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching. See you later, and bye for now.